and welcome to the Crochet in Afghan with Me series. And we're going to be adding the next step to our block with the color that you chose as the background color. So in my case, it's going to be this dark green. And you do it like always with a slip knot onto the hook. There we go. So the first thing you're going to do is go to any one of the petals and go to the tip where the three chain uh, space is. And you're going to join the green onto your project with a slip stitch in the tip of one of the petals. And like I said, it doesn't matter which one you do. Okay. Then what you're going to do is chain five. So then after you've chained five, you're going to be skipping all of these stitches and you're going to work in this single crochet that you did between each petal. And what you're gonna be doing in this is called a double treble crochet. I will show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to do is yarn over three times onto your hook. So one, two, three. So you have three, well you actually have four when you count this, but you've yarned over three times. Hold the stitches onto your hook with your finger and then insert the hook into the designated stitch, which like I said, is that single crochet between the petals. Yarn over and draw a loop through. So now you have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two yarn over, draw through the last two. So if you didn't know, you yarned over and drew through four times. And that is a double treble crochet. And then you're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. So then this is what you have. It looks kind of like a T. You've chained five, done the double treble crochet, chain five. Now you're gonna go back up to the next petal, up to the three chain space, and you're going to single crochet into that space. Then you're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to do the same exact thing again. You're going to do the double treble crochet into the single crochet stitch that's between the two petals. So let me show you that double treble one more time up close. So for the double treble, you need to yarn over your hook three times. One, two, three. Then you hold the stitches onto your hook with your finger you insert your hook into this single crochet space between the two petals. Yarn over, pull up a loop. So now there will be five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And that is a double treble. Then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. <laughs> if you don't know, I am actually watching my crochet, what I'm doing, through the viewfinder on my camera so that I make sure that I'm in frame. And so <laughs> if it looks like I'm fumbling around a little bit sometimes, that's why. It's because I'm not actually work looking at my hands. I'm looking through the camera. So after you've done the chain five, double treble, chain five, 
then you will go to the next three chain space at the tip of the petal and single crochet. See, there's a perfect example of fumbling around. And then you just com continue that pattern all the way around till you get back to here. I want you to pause this video and do that all the way around. And then when you get back here, um, come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so as you can see, I have done that all the way around and this is what your block should look like at this point. Now, here we are, we're back to where we started and all you do is join back into this um, first three chain space with a slip stitch. You just join yourself back over there. Like that. So that is the completion of round five. So now we're going to go on to round six. And what you need to do is chain one. So after you've chained one, then you're going to uh, single crochet in the first stitch, which is this first stitch that connected um, to the three chain space. So it's a little challenging to find it, but just, you know, do the best you can. It's, it's not the end of the world if it's not exactly in that first stitch. You're just wanting to get going so that you can do the next round, round six. So after you have chained one and single crocheted in that first stitch, then you are going to chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have this really long chain. You're going to skip this double treble crochet and then single crochet into the next uh, tip of the petal. This single crochet in the next tip. You're just going to single crochet in there. So then you've created kind of like a T with a double topper on it. You've gone from the tip of this petal to the tip of this petal. So then after you have single crocheted in, into the tip, you're going to chain seven this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But instead of skipping this double treble crochet like you did here, we are going to do another double treble crochet in the top of this double treble crochet. I hope I'm not I hope I'm not confusing you. But let's do the double treble again. Wrap around three times. Hold it with your finger. So then you put your hook into the top of that. Yarn over, pull through. Have five loops on your hook. And go through two. So there you have chain seven and another dub, double treble crochet in the top of the previous row. And then you're going to chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then go to this, this single crochet at the tip and single crochet in there. And to chain 10 this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, you're going to skip this and then single crochet in the top of the next tip. And then you're going to go back to chaining seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to do the double treble this time. One, two, three. Chain 
chain seven. And single crochet in the tip of this next petal. So here we've got the 10, the 10 space, the 7 space double treble, the 10 space, the 7 chain um, double treble. Now we're going to do chain 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, whenever you chain ten, you skip the double treble and you just go straight over and single crochet into the tip of the petal. Now, since you've done the ten, it's back to the seven double treble crochet chain seven. So it's the same pattern over and over until you get all the way back around. So you chain 10, single crochet, chain seven, double treble crochet, chain seven, single crochet, chain 10. So you do that all the way around. So pause the video and go ahead and finish that round and then I'll bring you back and show you what we need to do next. So when you get back to the beginning, this is going to be the end of round six. You just go ahead and join it back into this very first uh, single crochet with a slip stitch. So now we're ready to move on to round seven. Um, I hope that wasn't confusing for you because it's really quite simple. It's just a small pattern. Um, I, like I said before, I will have the written instructions down in the description box below. You can stop the video and read through those if you're confused, or you can rewind a little bit. Plus, that, that's showing my age. We don't rewind anymore in these days, <laughs> these days because we don't have tapes. But you can just back this video up and watch me do that again if you're confused. Okay, so now for round seven, we've joined our yarn back to the top, and we need to chain two. And then this is the very first 10 chain space that we did when we first started. And what you're going to do is you're going to do eight half double crochets in this um, chin, 10 chain space. So I've shown you before what a half double crochet is. crochets in that 10 chain space. Then we're going to go to this stitch, which is the single crochet, and we're going to half double crochet in that stitch as well. So then we come to the seven single crochets, the treble crochet, seven single crochets. We're going to do half double crochets in this first space, the seven stitch space, and we are going to do six. So then after you have your six half double crochets in the top of the double treble, that space there, you're going to do three half double crochets in the same stitch. One, three, and then you're going to do six half double crochets on this side as well in those that seven um, chain space. So we've got 
got that. And then we're going to half double crochet into this stitch in the tip. And then we're just going to do that all over again. So to recap that, you're going to start with this 10 chain space. You're going to do eight half double crochets. You're going to do a half double crochet in this space, and then six half double crochets, and then you're going to do three half double crochets in the top of the double treble from the row below. Do another six half double crochets, half double crochet into the tip of this petal, then you're back to the next 10 chain space and you will do eight half double crochets. So you just continue that pattern all the way around till you get back to the beginning. So I want you to go ahead and pause this video and when you get back to this spot, then turn it back on and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we're back to where we started from, and this is the end of round seven. So you're going to, at this point, uh, fasten off just in this um, two chain space. And I've showed you before how to fasten off. Just pull it into like a slip stitch. Snip your yarn. Pull it through, tighten it down, and I always add just a little knot for added security. So that is the end of this lesson, this tutorial, and as always for your homework I want you to take all your flowers and add a border. Next week when we come back I will show you how to change this circle into a square which is already beginning to look like a square and we will finish off this block. So join me next week for the next installment. We'll see you later friends. Bye bye.